Hi guys, so I have a May favorites video for you. I know I haven't done a favorites video in ages. I just feel like I haven't really been trying any new products really. I've just been stuck in my same routine of using the same stuff over and over that I know that I like, that works good. But um, these past few months I have kind of tried some new stuff, have gone shopping, and um, I kind of like the change up, like my skincare and my like makeup and hair especially like in the summer and spring so as you can tell if you've been following me for a while I got my hair cut short and I got some more blonde in it and um like my hair has just been really frizzy and damaged lately and especially when I get it colored it takes a beating so this time when the girl did my hair she put Olaplex in with you put it like in with the bleach I think and then you do like another like conditioner after when you're washing your hair out. So she did that when I went to the salon. I've never had that done before. I've seen like a lot about it on like Instagram and stuff. But um, yeah, I actually really liked it a lot. I think it really made my hair feel so much healthier. Especially after getting it bleached, it felt healthier after than going in. So yeah, I really love the Olaplex. I loved it so much that... They have one that you can like use at home and it is this Olaplex hair perfecter it's called number three and it says use once a week between chemical services to strengthen hair. So what you do is you just apply this to damp hair so I just like make my hair damp just run under some water and then I put this all through a generous amount kind of comb it through with my hand. And I leave it on for probably like 10 to 15 minutes. It says leave on a minimum of 10 minutes or more. I leave it on probably 15 to 20 minutes. And then you rinse and you shampoo and condition like normal. And this stuff really does make a difference. I can really tell after I use this how soft my hair feels and how healthy it feels. And um, yeah, I just really like this stuff. It really, really helps. Like if you have bleached hair, if it's damaged... I would suggest getting this stuff because it works and I use this probably I'd say like every other week maybe every two weeks um, I've only been using it for like a little over a month now I've only used it twice so but yeah each time I've used it I know when I use like you can tell after you use it that your hair feels much better so yeah love this stuff and then Another product that I've been using on my hair is this Kiehl's Color Preserving Conditioner and it's the Sunflower Color Preserving Conditioner. I have the shampoo as well. I haven't really gotten the conditioner though. I don't know why. I've just been using the shampoo for probably almost a year now. Yeah, probably a year now. And I really like it. I think it makes my hair like feel and look really nice. It doesn't like weigh it down, which I've had a problem with. Does it like dry it out? I feel like it just gives it like a lot of bounce and volume, which everyone likes. So yeah, I really love that conditioner. I like that it has, you know, like good ingredients in it, it's all, no sulfates. And this is also, well yeah, it's for color treated hair. So um, yeah, no parabens or anything like that. Just really nice ingredients, antioxidant rich sunflower and apricot oils and vitamins B3, B5, B6. And yeah, I just really love Kiehl's. I use their skincare too and their hair stuff and I just absolutely love it. And their stuff really goes a long way too. So you get, a, it's a good like price, good value I guess you could say. So yeah, I love this shampoo. And I think it really does not weigh my hair down too much. It just really moisturizes it though, makes it soft, makes it less frizzy without like weighing it down and feeling too heavy. So I really love this. And I feel like this will go a long way too. It's a pretty big six six point eight ounces. So yeah. And then another product from Kiehl's. This is um Kiehl's Silk Groom Serum. And this is supposed to be a like non-greasy, non-frizz finish is what they say. And that's pretty much what it does. It's like a um, serum that you put in your hair after you wash it. So you want to put it in when, in when it's damp. 
but I've done it also when my hair has been dry. So, I mean, either way, it's probably best to do it though when it's damp. So, and you only really need like a pump of this, and that's pretty much enough, maybe two. And I just put it all through my hair when it's damp, and it really does help tame that frizz because my hair is, get, does get frizzy. Um, especially like in the summer when it's like hot and humid out especially so yeah this stuff really does help um so yeah I really like this a pretty good price too and I feel like this will last a long time so yeah and it really doesn't make your hair feel greasy either so if you're worried about putting like an oil on it because literally it's all pretty much oils in this it doesn't make your hair greasy if if you use maybe too much it will but from what I've used my hair has never been greasy at all from this so yeah I really like this this is the Kiehl silk groom serum so another um, like skincare product that I've been using but I've loved I've been in love with this stuff probably for almost two years now I've never actually bought it until now though I always go in and just get like a little sample of it but this is I finally got it though but this is the like, Lush Cup of Coffee Face and Body Mask. And I absolutely love this. This is probably the only Lush product that I use and I like. Um, but this is a mask and it smells just like coffee. Like the smell. This is amazing. I love the smell of this. I just like to put it on for the smell. Because it's really strong. But it's not like too strong where it like gives you a headache or anything I really love this and it's kind of has like a gritty texture so it's almost like a scrub so when you go to take this off you'll kind of get an exfoliant um, from it but it, it can be a little rough though I will say but after you wash this off your face feels so soft like a baby's bottom anyway the ingredients in this are pretty minimal too it has, um, what is it called? Chloin, how do you say that? <laughs> that Chloin, Chloin? I don't know, an agave syrup. It has actually fresh ground coffee beans in it as well. And um, caffeine powder. I don't know, but this stuff actually does like really help my skin. If I'm having some breakouts, it will help clear those. I just love how it makes my skin so soft too. And of course the smell of it. And um, so yeah, I just really love this mask. It's one of my favorite masks I've ever used. And it's also a pretty good price too for a 5.2 ounce. This was I think 11, 11 something dollars. So yeah, and this for me this will last a pretty long time, although it does have an expiration date. It says, made by Lindsay on April 13th, 2018, used by August 13th, 2018. So about four months use out of this. Um, so yeah. Now on to some makeup. So my MAC membership, like discount card, student discount card, was expire, expired actually in May. So I wanted to go in there and stock up on some MAC stuff. So I decided to get one of these palettes, which is like make your own, which I really love. I love how MAC does that. You just buy one of these um, like plastic like cases and you get like the inserts that have like the little circles to put in the eyeshadow. And they come in like a bunch of different sizes, like a 15 one, 9 one, which is what I have. I think they have a 6 one, a 4 one, and a 2. So I decided to get the 9. And I got four of these different eyeshadows. And the ones that I've been obsessed with lately are these two right here. This one is Woodwinked. And it's really gorgeous, like shimmery, light, brown, some like gold undertones in it. And I think this is really gorgeous. I actually have it on right now on my lid in the middle. But um, yeah, it's just a pretty like everyday color I think you can just throw on even like by itself. 
So if you want like a nice, like e quick, easy look, I just put this on my whole eye lid. So yeah, I really love this color. And then the one next to it is more of like a like coppery, orangey, shimmery color. And this is called, oh god, what is this called? <sighs> What is that called? I think it's called coppery. I don't know, let me look. If I can get this out. That was called Amber Lights, actually. Yeah, this one's Amber Lights. Coppering is another MAC eyeshadow. Yeah, this is called Amber Lights. And it's just a really gorgeous color. So pretty. So those are my MAC eyeshadows I've been obsessed with. The other two, by the way, if you're wondering. I haven't used these ones too much. This one is called Expensive Pink, which is really gorgeous. It's like a pink, like shimmery with kind of like a golden, like peachy undertone to it. And then this one right here is Club, which is a very unique color. It's, I think it looked different on every skin tone. On me, it kind of pulls more browns, but it kind of has like blues and greens and like browns. I know it sounds really weird, but it is a very strange shade, but it's really pretty. So now on to, let's do lips. This is um, the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Bellissima. I think this is a really pretty like shade for spring and summer. It's kind of like a, a pink, light, peachy color. And yeah, I just really like this. It really does like stay on, like how it says, stay all day. Um, and the what I find with like light colored lipstick sticks, um, lip liquid lip gloss, liquid lipstick is that with the lighter colors they tend to like separate on my lips and it looks like really strange because it looks like blotchy but this one actually does not do that which is amazing so yeah it goes on nice and even and it lasts and it's just a really gorgeous color so yeah i really love this i really want to try more of their colors too so i think um yeah really nice formula and then on to foundation. I'm wearing this right now. And I actually love this. I have no complaints about this foundation. This is called Clinique. Clinique Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup. And I absolutely love this foundation. It's supposed to be for like acne prone skin. And I've been having some pretty bad breakouts lately. My hormones are just so out of whack. It's, it's not even funny. But this has salicylic acid in it. Which is supposed to, you know, be helpful for blemishes. And, um, yeah, so it has salicylic acid in it. And it really goes on, um really nicely doesn't get all blotchy or anything so it's really easy to apply it basically feels like I'm not even wearing makeup and I love that because me I don't like wearing makeup that's real heavy that I can you know feel or like smell I'm really weird like that but this I almost I was wearing it I forgot I was even wearing makeup and this is in the color ivory and it almost like perfectly matches my skin which is amazing too but I just think that it just gives a nice glowy look. It's not drying at all. And I have combination skin. So this does not dry me out. So if you're worried about the salicylic acid drying you out, I don't think that's that big of a problem, at least for me. Maybe if you did have dry skin. But I feel like if you're using this and acne foundation, you're probably more on the oily side. And also more blemish prone. So... Yeah, I haven't been having too many blemishes lately, but like I said, the hormones get out of whack, and my skin is very sensitive as it is, and this stuff just, 
works perfectly, I think. And yeah, I love it. And I feel like it's a pretty good price too. This was 20, oh gosh, how much was it? I think $29. But a little does go a long way. And yeah, I just really love this. This is the first Clinique product that I've used too, by the way. And I really want to try more because I'm really impressed with this. Because you think Clinique isn't that, you know, big when you come think of makeup. I think more like skincare with Clinique. But they deliver with this. I love this. And so that's pretty much it with my beauty items. So let's move on to some candles. Another thing that I love is candles. I love changing them up each season. So now that it's spring and summer, I went to Bath and Body Works because they're always having sales on their three-way candles. And I got this one, which is called White Opal. And this smells amazing. I love this. Now, if only I can describe how it smells, because I'm so bad at describing like perfumes and candles and scents, but this one definitely has some pine in it, which is interesting. It has, it kind of smells perfumey too. It kind of smells like a kind of like masculine perfume. I don't know, and like pine, perfume and pine and I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Like woody, I guess you could say. I don't know, but this was made into a perfume. I definitely use it because this smells so good. It burns nicely, it fills like the whole room, and the throw is really nice. And I think the packaging is really pretty too, the color of this. It's gorgeous with the gold. I'm still trying to think of the word. <laughs> what is that word I'm thinking of? Like musk, like musky. That's the word I'm looking for, like a musk. Like a musk kind of like perfume smell. Yeah, that's what it smells like with a hint of pine. Mm, love it. And the other one that I really like is, this is the White Barn. And this is, was that White Barn or was that? Yeah, this was, they're both white barn. And this one is smells like a sexy man and a coconut. It's a mahogany coconut and it definitely mm, is just a really nice scent. I think perfect for summer with that hint of coconut in it. I kind of get a little bit of vanilla as well. So it's kind of, it's kind of sweet, but very like masculine too. And I think the design is kind of pretty too. And the throw on this is amazing. I was just burning it the other day and my whole room smelled. And I, I, every Bath and Body Works candle or white burn, whatever that I've gotten has never disappointed. I just love them. Mm, I can't stop smelling it. And again, those are $24 for the three-way candles. But the sale, they did like, what was it? Like, I think it was buy one, get one free. Or buy one, get one half off. Something like that. They always have these crazy sales on their three-way candles. So definitely get it on those sales. They have them like all the time too. So that was my May favorites. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun talking to you about these products. It's been a while since I've done this. So I hope you all enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Bye.